talk about one sign with a sharp message. Well, Maggie, those candidates are really trying to get their names out there before voters head to the polls. But a Jackson resident is getting tired of the signs ending up on his property. And he called through on your side when one dangerous campaign sign was posted in his yard. The busy intersection at the corner of West and May streets is a prime location for candidates to post their campaign signs. And they are everywhere, including Jamie Bush's front yard. After, like I say, a week or so, I take them down. Every time, a new one pops up. He has had three campaign signs for Hines County Circuit Clerk candidate Vicki Mumford nailed to a post in his yard. And I take them down. I, I admit taking them down. But they just make my yard look tacky. For the third time, Bush sent his son to remove the campaign sign from his yard. Only this time, it was lined with sharp razor blades. More than a dozen blades are glued to the top and bottom of the sign. We also found a couple razor blades nearby in the grass. Bush's 14-year-old son cut himself on the blades while trying to take the sign down, but was not seriously injured. What's the reason for this? Is it because somebody's mad at me for taking down the signs? Is it that critical to have signs right here on this corner? We contacted Mumford's campaign manager, Samuel McGee, who gave this statement. Quote, we have had people tamper with Vicki Mumford's signs. We do not use razor blades on our campaign signs, nor would anyone associated with our campaign do anything like that. If anyone is identified doing such, that person would be disassociated with the campaign immediately. We are running on the merit of the candidate for circuit clerk, not dirty tactics. Bush says he's not blaming Mumford herself, but does want to call it to her attention. Whoever's putting her signs out and did this, they need to be responsible for it. You know, she needs to deal with them and find out about it. Well, what Mumford's campaign manager says this is the first time he has heard of razor blades on one of their signs. Bush says he does not have a bias toward any candidates and doesn't even plan to vote in this election. Maggie, he just doesn't want this happen to happen again. All right, thank you very much. Julie Straw reporting. Thanks again, Julie.